Orton ties that rope, as you mentioned, Bob, around the neck, and then fans, Murdoch went right over the top rope. He's 288 pounds, and Orton was just hanging him there like the old hanging tree in Dodge City, and that tells the story. From the city of sunshine, total combined weight, 450 pounds. Johnny and Shane, the dynamic dude. Fans, we want to remind you that are watching our broadcast here on pay-per-view that Joe Pettacino and Lance Russell are broadcasting it live on our wrestling hotline, our 900 number. And immediately following our broadcast, I'll be joining Lance for a live post-game show. That's our wrestling hotline, the 900 number. Joe Pettacino and Lance Russell calling the action as we speak here. And I'll be joining Lance right after this broadcast for our post-game wrap-up show. Two distinctly opposite tight teams right here, the Samoan SWAT team. Uh, Paulie dangerously big, strong, powerful, wild. They look like they ought to be in a cage and you ought to have an animal trainer or something after them. Two terrific youngsters right here. Clean cut, outstanding young kids. Jim, they love to do all the things that the youngsters love to do. Skateboard, surf, they're great athletes, great competitors. I tell you, they're just fantastic young men. Johnny and Shane against the Samoans. Tommy Young, five times NWA referee of the year, assigned this contest. Paul E. Dangerously will be roaming the outside of the ring. All right, it's going to be Johnny starting out against Pot Two. Just over 300 pounds is Big Pot Two. And this is one of the most physically intimidating teams in the sport today, the Samoan SWAT team. They're so big, together over 600 pounds, the dynamic dudes are really outweighed some 150 pounds or more, Jim. They really got to use their superior athletic ability, their quickness and agility in their ring because if the SWAT team ever gets you cornered, boy, that could be curtains. Indeed, I think we can say that the dynamic dudes are decided underdogs in this contest. Collard elbow tie up and then Fatu starts out very quickly on Johnny. Misses with the clothesline and Johnny takes him straight down. And uh, Fatu, tremendously hard head. And he's got him up. Great strength by Johnny. And Samu comes in, slamming both men. And now a nice arm drag takeover. Shane just nails Sam, Samu coming as he came to his corner. Start to mention Jim Ross and Bob Cottle with you here, coming to you live from ringside here in Nashville, Tennessee at Russell War 89. Thanks for being with us very much. Power slam. And this one could very near be over, and I thought it was over right there. That's twice he had him for the count of two, and he kicked out just in the nick of time each time. Johnny Ace being punished unmercifully by the sadistic Samoan SWAT team. And again, the Samoans double teaming, raking the handsome features of young Johnny Ace, who's near the corner. And Sam Moo made a good move. He evidently missed that tag. The referee got between them. I thought he had made it, but he must have missed that tag in the corner. That's like make a wish. Just pulling, really stretching the groin muscle. And it's only due to the great conditioning and stamina and the good clean living of these youngsters that Johnny is still managing to stay in that ring to keep from getting pinned. Dangerously wants Tommy Young to count faster. And that's not going to work. He's not going to intimidate that man, I can tell you that. Oh. Samu! That'll ruin your appetite. Yeah, I told you they were wild. There's a good example of it. And Samu just keeps hammering away. I think at this point in time, Bob, it's just a matter of time until this one is, is his. They have got Johnny. They've had him in the ring. They've been pounding him. They've been putting their weight on him. They've been draining his strength right out of him. And unless he can get over, and unless he can get some help from his partner, Jim, I think you're right. You can only take so much regardless of how good a conditioning you're in. He's desperately trying to make that tag, but he's coming up short each time. Johnny showing the fight and determination. Tries for an offensive move. Now he needs to make the tag. Does he have enough together mentally to make the tag? He's near his corner. The outstretched hand. Can he do it? 
He is right Come there near, near the corner. And he, I didn't see it. He, he obviously he did not, again. he didn't make the tackle. No, he missed it again. Son of a gun, that's twice he's been right at it. Nice leapfrog over. This is going on instinct right here. Tried a, a thrust kick of his own, and the Samoan just caught at him in, in midair. Caught the foot in midair. Now it turned him over into a Boston Crab. Boy, this is a painful, painful maneuver. His legs are bent in a very dangerous position, putting tremendous pressure on the small of the back as a 300-pounder sets right down on him. You are as useless as a woman from Nashville, Tennessee! So it's an injury there, I would say. And Johnny, the one foot there. Nice move, good resourceful move. Yes, he made the tag. And Shane Douglas is ready for action. He is rested. He is cooking now. The Irish whip, and there goes Samu. Drop kick right on the butt. Another drop kick on Fatu. Dangerously is animated at ringside. Another drop kick by the youngster from the city of sunshine. Frog. Oh, God! He was finished with a clothesline. Just as I started to say that the cream was coming to the top, the youngster had really turned up the up the steam. Watch out! Ooh, on two with that big 300 plus off the top rope. One, two, and Johnny Ace out of desperation. He made the save there. He saved the pinning predicament. Samu knocks Ace out of the ring. Boy, Shane Douglas is in big, big trouble, virtually out on his feet here. Shane up with a three. Johnny A. With a drop kick off the top row. One, two, three. The dudes have upset the Samoans. The dudes have upset the Samoans. Ladies and gentlemen, in 11 minutes and two seconds, your winners, the Dynamic Dudes. Cage of Samoans and Paulie dangerously now. What a dramatic comeback and a finish that was for the dynamic dudes, Jim. Has to be our first major upset of the night. There you see the big man, Fatu. He was coming off the top rope. That big flying body press. We all thought at this point in time it was indeed over. But Johnny makes the save with a big right hand that prevented the one, two, three. And as we will see how this transpires, Fatu, and Johnny, uh, Shane is out of it, Bob. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was gonna put a pile, look like a pile driver, and watch Johnny come off the top rope. And down goes the Samoan Shane right on top of him. All he had to do was just stay right there for the pin.